Uh, thanks. I'm uh, Andrei Babi. I'm working in Geo Synergy and I'm a PhD student in Nure. I want to talk today about fuzzy transform and image fusion. And even more, I want to talk about uh, how we can use a 1D methods uh, to, for image, image processing. First of all, I want to say about Image fusion. What is this? Is the process of combining of multiply images into single composite image. For example, we can take low resolution multispectral image, high resolution pan image, and receive pan sharpened image. Most of the satellites work this way. What kind of fusion exists? Multifocus fusion, multimodal fusion, multi-view fusion, and multi-temporal fusion. We will talk today only about one, about multifocus fusion, but I will talk about each kind a little, talk a little about each kind of, the, of fusions. Multifocus fusion and its situation which we, when we have set of images where there is at least one region in, of, on the image in focus and uh, other regions are not in focus. What do we want to get? We want to get image when everywhere is in focus. Which method we will use? We should identify the regions on each photo which already in focus and combine it. For example, like on this image, this image from the test set, we can get it on this URL. We have one image not fo uh, focused leaves. Uh, second image is focused uh, foreground, and we have uh, uh, result image all focused. Multimodal fusion. Uh, this is. Uh, fusion when we can take images with different modalities, PAT, CT, MRI, for example, infrared and pan sharpened image, and we can increase quality from different sources of images. Uh, here is using averaging fusion in transform domain, maybe some object level fusion when we detect object and then we do something with this information. For example, from medicine, we have MRI, we have PAT, and we can fuse this data to visualize this data to the doctor. Or, for example, in GIS, we can pan, we can uh, get multi spectral, and we have sharpened image. I have showed the same, um, same example before. Multi view fusion, we have images of the same modality at the same time but under different condition or from different places of you, different points of view. We can increase quality by complementary information from these views. But this, there, is, there is one great problem. How to combine, how to register these images to combine areas with each others. And uh, for example, surf, sift, or brisk, flan, which other speakers took it before, can be used for this task. But uh, when we register it, we can use same averaging, deconvolution, or iterative fusion. For example, example of this fusion, we have five different images, four different images of the cell. We can use deconvolution for each image and receive good images from the bad images. Same idea is here. It's used in biomedical engineering, it used in aerospace photo processing, it can be used for drones. Uh, by the way, on each page you can see link from the scientific paper related with this method. Multitemporal fuges, uh, fusion uh, this situation which we, when we take images of same scene, but at different time. And then we can combine and see what difference. We can detect changes. For example, we can get map, we can get same map 
uh, next next day or next year and try to detect what differs, just subtracting or little um, more intelligent subtracting. If objects are changed, the situation that uh, similar to situation with uh, multi-source fusion, then we should detect object to combine it. But today we will talk about multifocus fusion using fuzzy transform. Uh, what we want? We have one image with focused leaves, second image with uh, for focused foreground, and result, all focused image. What is uh, fuzzy trans transform? It's approximation method. It's approximation method which comes from one D, one dimensional processing. It proposed by Irina Perfilieva in chess. It can be seen as analog of Fourier transform, but it uh, gives little bit different results and it has little bit different philosophy in it because each method based on some philosophy. It may be, for example, when we talk about random values or about fuzzy values or maybe about interval values, but we are talking about this on the next slide. You know, our world is, our human world is fuzzy. When we ask about temperature, we didn't uh, say uh, 37 degree. No, we say hot or too hot or maybe cold, too cold. But in the world of computers, we deal with numbers. So we need something to translate, to deal between human representation and computer representation. Uh, these methods based on fuzzy logic, on uncertainty. When we can't say uh, crisp, when we can say, yes, this is 35 and uh, 5 degree. No. For example, red line, it's uh, definitely hot, and blue line is definitely cold. In difference between hot and cold. What if we apply this to one dimension? I will talk about one dimension before images for better understanding. We can divide our data stream into partition. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Can we? Yes, we can. Uh, for example, centers of these partitions will be at 1, at 11, at 21, 31, 41, and 51. Centers of the partitions. And then we can do something with this partition. We can average it, we can uh, move it, we can smooth it, or something else. Yes, but we have crisp difference between partitions. Red line. What if we leave centers of partition, dark, uh, dark lines, dark dotted lines, but we will not talk about borders of partition, red lines. We will receive fuzzy partition, for example, like here, when A1, A2, A3, these are centers, and 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is uh, difference of x. And uh, we can say that, for example, for center 1, 0 is definitely not in partition A2. But, for example, 0 0.5 may be in partition A2. For our function, it will look like this. I will uh, draw with different colors each partition. For example, we have one half of partition between 1 and 11. We know that 1 is 100% is in partition, but 11 is other partition, it's center of other partition. And something about 5 or maybe 6, we don't know in which partition it places it, yes? It may be something average between 1 and 11, and we 
uh, diff we draw this knowledge like straight green and straight red line. So we can divide our data set into fuzzy partition. <coughs> when we have dotted black line as centers only and we have no red lines at all. Now we have equations, we leave it as is, we will return to it later. And we have uh, divided uh, data stream with centers of partition dotted by blue large dots and approximation function by blue dotted line. Yes? Uh, what we get? We get something, some kind of approximation. We can get similar type of approximation if we use Fourier transform or maybe if we use moving average or something else. But if we use this approach with fuzzy partition in two dimensions for images, if we define some points in image, wrapper points, points of importance, and uh, try to describe some, some areas around it to make uh, this image averages, averaged or approximated. We will create same membership function triangle for each area. For example, this point will have value 1.0 for this membership function, center point, and all other points will change it linearly from 1 to 0. So, in this image, if we take a real image and uh, place blue point at each center of fuzzy area, define it but out our method. For each blue point, we can receive some kind of averaging of image. So as side effect, we received some kind of methods used for compression. We can use only one of four, four points to store this data. Yes, compressed image will not be very good quality, but this is side effect. Uh, for example, at this slide, we can see formulas for uh, F components calculating, and then formula for, to, for returning of this component to uh, decompress it image. If we see three images, for example, input not compressed images, F transformed images and Gaussian blur images. What we can see? We can see that Gaussian blur is very similar to F transform, but there, are, there is more details. This is unusable for good data compression. You see, quality is not so good. But if we talk about uh, detection of unfocused areas, what we can say? We can say, we can see that this image F transformed looks like unfocused. So if we detect difference or error between input and F transformed method, we can detect errors with good focus or unfocused errors. Yes? If we process it, it will work like this. We will find sharp parts by fuzzy transform. We extract it, subtract, and when we combine sharp parts from different image, we will receive image with better quality. Once more, main idea. idea which if image more fuzzy, less focused the lower compression error after fuzzy transform. This is the main idea of uh, this method. And steps, you can see it 
on the slides. So, for example, first step, this is start image, this is F transformed and inverted image. Inverted, I mean, I mean inverse fuzzy transform. So I transform and detect K points, yes, and return int back to, to decompress image. If you see it uh, uh, from your seats, you will not see uh, a difference a lot. You can see that difference on this leaf, and this leaf is high, yes, but difference on unfocused arrows is not high. Yeah. Calculation of arrows. I just subtract one image from other and received difference. Then if I define arrows, for example, 10 by 10 pixel or 5 by 5 pixel or 20 by 20, I will receive error value for some error. Then I will apply threshold. Threshold. It can be a two threshold, it can be simple uh, threshold one, uh, two, seven, 127 threshold. And if I apply this thresholded area to first image, I will receive market good parts of image. And this is base for image fusion for multi-focus focus fusion, fusion. So we using F-transform, uh, using uh, sp uh, sp specialists of these methods, we receiving uh, non-fused element, non-focused non, non elements from image. And we can uh, divide focused elements from non-focused elements. This is example from the test set. Test set have something about 13 or 14 images. Uh, this is test set from some chairs or maybe Serbian University. We can apply it, apply this method, apply this method to the data and see. Yes, it it works. And uh, future work. What is task? What is problems in this message which uh, still not uh, finished, still not done? What if input image is too fuzzy? What if uh, if we, for example, make a photo of this seat, yes, and make photo, for example, of this table with texture? Uh, the result of uh, method uh, applying will be different. Will differs because different. Uh, Text, texture. Uh, if uh, texture will be too fuzzy, it will be uh, too blur. We will not uh, receive quality detection. But we have ability to change our membership function. I, I'll back to the slides to the, this place. We can use other kind of membership function, for example, not triangle, simplest, but cosinus or sinus or whichever we want or whichever some optimization algorithm find for us and uh, adapt these methods for some kind of images. Back to the end. How to select good partition size? Size. So we can take five pixel kernel. We can take ten pixel kernel and more. This is related uh, with uh, content of image, with texture of image. Uh, how we do it now? Just brute force. We can go from three to eleven or to fifteen and see what is better. But we can use some optimization methods. We can try some kind of, for example, uh, gradient descent to search the best kernel. And uh, main problem in real world when we make two photos, one focus set, two focus set, elements will not fit. We should register it before. And next question. Uh, how to do this? How to deal with this? 
And yes, flan, ranzak, uh, flan, uh, sift, uh, surf, brisk, other key descriptors, maybe optical flow and Harrison corners. We can try to uh, make it closer, closer to each other, and only then we can use uh, this fuzzy transform. So, my idea of my speech, the key of uh, different image processing methods are still in one dimension. Ideas and philosophy comes from here. For example, if I take uh, here at this stage, not blur, but Fourier transform, which used in JPEG, in basic, basic JPEG compression, yes? Result will be similar to this, yes? But we will have more rectangles. Why? Because of side effects of Fourier transform. If I take wavelet, like JPEG 2000, result will be other. And for different data, for different content, different methods gives uh, very similar, but little bit better, a little bit worse results. So K is understanding of uh, this, how it works on one dimension. Because most of methods coming to the image processing, it coming from this, from one dimension processing. Thanks for attention. This result is done in just a second. I will show you in this paper. Here, here it is. I triple year paper. Uh, here is uh, comparison of uh, these methods. This is not my method and uh, not the same as my PhD dissertation, but uh, this is uh, base of my PhD dissertation. <laughs> How much calculation unit does how it? Much, how much tuning? Because there are tuning. parameters for this, right? Mm. You select the, uh, the, 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 idea, the idea of this method is I, I, yeah. about tuning. Uh, tuning, yeah. tuning, yes. Just as I will show you formula. Uh, first, tuning is selection of membership function function. And then there is no tuning. Maybe you can select only partition size, second second tuning, second second parameter, and that's all. Oh, kernel size, yes, that's all. That's uh, then uh, I you know, just do subtracting, yes, and uh, pixelization. It's not a parameter. So. Uh, why do you use the fuzzy transform? And if you can use uh, simple edge detection, and when there is no edges, there is a smooth something, and you can just subtract only with a simple edge detector like a Sobel operator. Uh, if I detect edges or lines, I will receive uh, something not like this. I, it, it will detect lines maybe with some parameters, also in these dark areas. Why? Just I will show you. Because here on these leaves, it will detect lines too. Or you should place some parameters depending on content of image. Yes? And on my method, you should not 
place these parameters, you use this membership function, which can be can be same for all of images. It will be not not maybe not 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 the best results, but mostly it uh, so give good. Yes, it's more robust than just uh, edge detection by Kenny or something like this. Yes. Uh, how do you deal with noise in your method? Uh, if you mean some kind of uh, noise, uh, Gaussian noise or something like this, yes? Or like maybe, noise, uh, maybe from, uh, salt and paper detector. noise, what kind of noise uh, do you mean? Oh, this is a mix of Poisson noise and Gauss. CCD uh, if uh, images, if image uh, have a noise, this will affect it on membership function. You always can uh, take, or maybe not you, but your optimization method can take such membership function which deal with uh, this noise, if this noise have a rule. If this noise have no rule, if it uh, um, have no uh, distribution, uh, I can deal with this noise, it just work on it, it will give some robust result, not very good result, but it gives some result. I have ke yes, I have kernel size. I have membership function which can be optimized for for noise. Okay, but it seems that your uh, membership function is in low low frequency domain. Uh, so when you uh, subtract uh, noise images the, from uh, your result, you will get this uh, method not for noise detection okay. at all. It's for image fusion, unfocused image images fusion. So, if we noise. take about uh, noise, we should modify usage of this uh, method. And uh, I know some papers which use this this method for anomaly for noise detection. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes. We have just a second. For multi-focus. Uh, just a second. I will come to multi-view fusion, yes? This one. Uh, for this one problem, fuzzy transform in this way can be applied. Can't, can't be applied. Um, here should be applied other methods. I think uh, here is uh, deconvolu deconvolution, it's other technique which not related with... I, I know the ground, I mean, uh, did you study the possibility of... No, 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 it's very wide area, I... No, I just use it for multi-focus focus fusion. Uh, we have three questions and it's yeah, one, two, three, yeah. yeah. Uh, just a second, I will show. Yes, 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 I will show you this place. Um, if you look at this page, yes, you're looking at it. Uh, it seems like average, yes? In uh, image processing, we sometimes uh, call it median filters when we take the center image, uh, weighted elements between one center, yes? Uh, dif what, what is the difference between this and uh, uh, moving average first. In moving average, we will not receive these and these one points, point, because we will not have data to calculate it. Yes, it's first. And second, uh, I calculate one equation for each blue point. If we will use moving average, uh, for this count of points, Result will be faster. Yes, you're right. But uh, quality will be worse. 
Uh, hi, thanks for the talk. Um, have you considered any other implementations for the uh, in-focus in measurement except fuzzy transform? Uh, do you mean uh, say, uh, so, I mean, equations similar to this um, were related with uh, results of applying other methods to for, to, yes? to get in focus uh, mask? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I uh, using other um, I. Uh, as a method to do multifocus, multifocus uh, fusion. Uh, results of uh, Fourier methods is more cl very close uh, to these results, but it's worse. Why? Because of side effects of uh, Fourier. Um, there is a method called a harmonic mean of variances, which uses a discrete Cosine transform to get frequencies. Dis discrete, discrete, uh, discrete Cosine transform, discrete wavelet transform, discrete Fourier transform, and and at at. I did not check it all the methods. This this one I did not take. Okay. Okay. Thanks. And last last question. My question is, uh, how do you envision the use cases of this? So should photographer always take three images or how? For example, the application? to uh, the application, application uh, there, there is different uh, applications of these methods. First, first application, if we uh, take photos, take for example, two photos of one array with different uh, focus when you fly over drone, yes? You can focus camera where? Uh, yes, on different places. Uh, second application, each image fusion uh, for uh, images which were uh, pictured from, for example, different angles, after transform, after we transform it to one uh, Gomography, uh, using gomography trans translate to one uh, place, let's say place, we can uh, register and compare it. So this should not be two photos uh, created from one place. If we make this photo from two places, we should register it and uh, uh, make points uh, placing each under other, and only then we can use this. I talk about this, I think, in third point. In real world, images does not fit. It's about it. We should do something to make images fit to each other. And this, this is a lot of other methods, starting from optical flow and finishing them, or brisk, flan, and et, et, et. Okay, thank you very much, Andres, for for, for presentation. Um.